Hi, my name is Yasmin, and I'm from the Center of Excellence for Engineering Quantum Systems. Today, we're going to be talking with light. So whenever you use one of these, you're counting on electrons carrying around bits of information on a silicon chip. And for now, that's working pretty well. But if you want to keep up with the needs of society, we're going to have to step up our game. So computing, whether it's on a phone or whether it's on a quantum computer, always comes in when you have to calculate a whole bunch of permutations of bits of information. So that can, of course, be uh, cryptography. But it can also be using artificial intelligence for DNA sequencing, because your human genome is one combination from 3 billion bits of protein. Or it may be using a supercomputer to search for new drugs just by looking at all different possible uh, elements and combinations of them, and maybe one of them is going to be able to cure a disease. And then on the other hand, we have communications, and there the requirements are actually even tougher. So today, it's not enough anymore that we can communicate across the globe. If we want to go do deep space exploration, we're going to want to put a base on the moon as a pit stop on the way to Mars. So in that case, we have to be able to communicate in real time in, on this absurd distance, Earth, Moon. So to make these things happen, we need to make data, data transfer and information transfer more flexible, more reliable, and faster. So we are building a device that does not use electrons to transport information. And I have brought a uh, prototype for you today. So here, we have a transmission of information through the vibration of a string. And you may say, well, you know, <coughs> connecting the world via a tin can phone may be a little bit slow, and this is a fair point. And that is why we uh, combine it with a second element, which is the fastest traveling thing that exists, light. So, the re so because vibrations are so slow, when information is encoded as a vibration, it's very easy to manipulate that and to store it. And then the light can come in to take over that information and do the super fast transmission part. So in our lab, we're not using a string. We are using superfluid. This is a type of ultra cold helium. And the difference with a string, but also with any type of normal liquid, is that it is ultra sensitive to agitation. So a superfluid, when we shine light onto it, will actually start to vibrate just because of the pressure of the light. And that's exactly what we have shown. So we can convert information in the form of light coming in from one direction to vibrations of the superfluid and then back into, vibra and back into light waves traveling in, the other, in another direction. All of this without losing any information and on the microscopic silicon chip. So the next step for us is to combine this with electrons, and next thing you know, we may be talking to the moon with light. <laughs>